the S-64 Air Crane Helicopter, and it's built by Ericsson Air Crane. Twin Pratt & Whitney turbine jet engines and six large main rotors give this aerial workhorse a lift capacity of up to 25,000 pounds. A patented anti-rotation rigging system keeps external loads in place and gives the air crane an unparalleled placement capability within inch tolerances. A rear-facing pilot station gives the S-64 a flying crane functionality as the pilot takes full control of the helicopter for precision placement work. Unhooking this way, if you have to high up there for some reason and unhook it. Combine these capabilities with over 35 years of experience building over 8,000 miles of power lines, and you'll see why, with the Ericsson Advantage, it's time to fly. These 500 kV single circuit towers will require us to splice the haunch rail in approximately this location to eliminate any interference with the main rail as it sits on a custom made stop incorporating a flower pot guide in this area. During the project planning phase, Ericsson operations personnel can help you design the towers or sections to the lift capacity of the air crane. An optimal weight for the tower or section will maximize the efficiency of the helicopter and minimize flight time as well as your overall project time. If your towers are already designed, Ericsson Aircrane can assist you with planning manpower and resources to accommodate the accelerated project schedule offered by helicopter construction. Central Assembly Staging Yards offer two major benefits. They concentrate the labor force at strategically chosen locations. This minimizes travel time and allows the foreman to more closely supervise the tower assembly process. This layout method also gives you the ability to precisely schedule tower construction along the right-of-way and flexibility to change that schedule quickly and efficiently. When the towers and tower sections are assembled in the central yards, the air crane can build two to six towers per hour, depending on tower type, up to 2.5 miles from each assembly yard. With proper planning, it is possible to erect in excess of 10 miles of towers per day. Ericsson Aircrane has developed patented mechanical guides that make it possible to place each section without involving workers in or near the tower. The guide system can be used whenever the splice point is a butt splice, outside lap joint, or an inside lap joint. Because there are numerous main rail sizes at the splice, Ericsson Aircrane has designed the angle guide system so that it can attach to any size. For the placement of bridge sections, Ericsson has developed a flower pot guide system. The guides are bolted to the main tower legs of the section, utilizing existing bolt patterns. Typically, this system can be used either at a butt splice or an inside lap joint. A patented wraparound system encloses the bottom of these tower sections. In operation, the wraparound and the angle guide system provides the pilot with a window in which to place the tower section. The wraparounds touch the angle guide, aligning the tower section into final position. To make the guide system work, it is necessary to control the tower position precisely while the air crane hovers and places the tower legs. Ericsson has developed the anti-rotation rigging system to accomplish this. The anti-rotation rigging system allows the tower section to move independently of the aircraft in pitch and roll, but prevents the tower or section from rotating. This gives the pilot complete control of the load to accomplish precise placement. Before being lifted and flown to the tower site, the tower sections are rotated from their horizontal position to a vertical position. To prevent tower legs from bending once the tower is rotated to a vertical position, Ericsson Aircrane has developed an aluminum stiffener that can be adjusted to any length up to 45 feet. These stiffeners are installed before the completed tower section is hooked to the aircrane. Within minutes of liftoff, the air crane, traveling at speeds of over 70 knots, 
transports the tower to the site and placement is completed within a few minutes. Bonneville Power Administration developed and commissioned a 64-mile, 500 kV line between the Schultz and Watoma substations to improve reliability and create additional capacity to the electric grid in central Washington. Infrasource Services Incorporated was brought in to accomplish the line construction, which at times had to occur over steep and sometimes inaccessible terrain while minimizing environmental concerns. Infrasource brought in the Ericsson S-64 air crane to conquer the remote area tower construction as well as provide a considerable boost to the project timeline. Construction began in March 2004 and the line was energized on December 5, 2005, leading BPA officials to commend all participants for finishing the project on schedule and under budget. It was another successful partnership between Ericsson Aircrane and Infrasource that has added to the company's history of line construction within some of the most challenging topographic and environmental conditions. Over decades of tower construction work spanning 8,000 miles across North America, Ericsson Aircrane has worked with some of the biggest utilities and contractors in the business. Strength, precision, and reliability are the hallmarks of Ericsson Aircrane's reputation that these companies count on. When you've got the strength of the Ericsson S64 air crane, the precision of a flying crane, and the reliability of an established operator on your line construction job, it's time to fly. <laughs>